19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I guess I'm aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. Bloody. Every time I survived the war song, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, OK? OK. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my god. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go! God bless America. That was the trailer from Civil War, released from 824, Studio 824. If you don't know anything about Studio 824, right now, they are on a roll. They're considered one of the better, bigger, independent uh, movie studios out there. They have put out some really, really good films that I've enjoyed, some that I haven't. But for the most part, people see 824 as... Uh, a production that is not scared to take risk when we now live in this coddled society where all the big blockbusters and mainstream TV shows have to cater to this sort of woke diversity quota kind of thing and completely throw the arts and the talents and creativity out of the window. It's kind of pigeonholed a lot of movie studios from making good films and taking risks because they don't want to offend anybody. Now, looking at this, I... I'm really, really curious about how they're going to do this film because if they do it in this way where they just make the right the baddies and the left the goodies or they do this whole like fear mongering, oh, the MAGA Trump supporters, the, the, the QAnons are going to come and take over uh, America. This is January 6th in real life. Like if they do something like that, I would be really disappointed because that's so lazy and so low hanging fruit. It would be more le uh, like more interesting to see America itself come together against sort of political forces. Uh, it doesn't look like just a good old boy uprising um, because it looks like huge military forces. It looks like huge military forces going after huge military forces. Like, yeah, a lot of people have a lot of guns, but I don't think they have fighter jets. So I think it's not just a civil uprising. Probably like a, um, like a military coup. That's what I'm thinking. Someone commented, um, Texas and California working together now you know it's fiction I did see that they said the military forces from the west of Texas and California has been defeated though so what are they fighting against that's what I'm really curious how they're gonna lay this out interesting that they're putting this out now there's been lots of lots of talks about civil war I think if you go watch Tim Pool Tim Cass Tim Pool IRL he talks about civil war every two minutes um, but he's not the only one a lot of people feel that there's a civil war approaching and a 
America. Um, the whole line of saying like, what kind of American are you kind of thing? Brothers and neighbors fighting each other, which is really sad, all the divisiveness and all the division. The only actors I really recognized was Kristen Dunst, and I think the president played the actor from Park and Recreations. I think that's him, and I think he usually does comedy, so this is a step out of his usual genre where people see him in. It looks good. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna be interested because it is eight to four. They usually take risk. It would be very surprising if they just went the lazy route, like the TV show The Boys of, oh, if you're a right winger, whatever represents the right, you're bad. Whatever re represents the left, you're good. If they do something like that, I'd be really, really shocked and surprised because it's A24 and they take risk. So I would love to see more of a, a unity of Americans coming, rising up against sort of just the military or the government power, um, military forces, like a military coup or something like that. That's what I would like it to be. I don't know. It seems really interesting. Or oh, maybe it's an outside force. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think of the trailer. Um, if you're going to watch it, or if you're a fan of A24, if it looks interesting to you, if you'll be really disappointed if they just kind of went the lazy political route of today's era, that would be so disappointed and so lazy. And there's nothing brave about that. Like anybody, anybody can make that film. Because it's just, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's easy, easy, easy route to take for me in my opinion but let me know in the comments section below please like comment subscribe hit that button to get some notifications when i do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys if you like to donate and help support this channel and you guys have an amazing beautiful day bye 19 states have seceded the united states army ramps up activity the white house issued warnings to the western forces as well as the florida alliance the three-term president assures the uprising